Welcome, everybody, to Gold City's fifth, sixth, whatever video it is. Uh, we're just sort of laid back and uh, recapping what went on here this evening. Had a wonderful time. We got to meet, meet a lot of the people, and I don't think I've ever been any more exciting. Uh, it was great. Uh, you know, it's so night. exciting to see people excited. It's hard the, not to get excited with all the electricity in the air. Yeah, you, know, I, you know, everything's sort of settled down now, but I'm still... You know, it'll take me a while to get to sleep, I believe, because of the, of the... The adrenaline flow. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I was right out front talking to the people, and they were saying, you know, are you guys worth us waiting? Because there was lines backed up. I, I couldn't even imagine. And uh, the people from the, from the different papers and gospel music were just amazed. And, and this building was packed with people. And, uh, Lord, it was. And, uh, it was hot. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. I remember that. Well, yeah. because we were so wound up, but I think all in all, after everything settled down and, and the Holy Spirit got to become a part of the video, yeah. uh, you know, you'd think you never would get nervous. You'd finally get used to this kind of stuff, but I don't, I don't believe I ever will. I don't think I ever will. I'm still getting nervous. Ladies and gentlemen, from Glencoe, Alabama, America's number one group. You voted that way four years in a row. Go!
heard the word of the Lord. He went walking all the bones will so dry there in that lost and lonely barnyard. But God declared these bones shall live again. Can these dead bones live again? Oh, you valley of dry bones. He spoke aloud, oh, dry bones come alive. He went walking as the bones began to gather in that lost and lonely barnyard. To the wind as he could it prophesied. In the breath of God came in into the valley of dry bones. Ezekiel saw the word of the Lord. They went walking. They came leaping to their feet like a great and mighty army. Dry bones heard the word of the Lord. Oh, let the Spirit breathe upon you. Let it bring you alive. In the fire of the Spirit, stand up and testify. The regenerating power from the throne of God above. Let it free from the bone yard and fill with his blood. Are you living alone in a valley of dry bones? Oh, children, hear the word of the Lord. Hear me talking. Tell you what, we've been in some churches here lately. We ought to sung that song to them. <laughs> Sit out there like a bunch of dead boys. Y'all glad to be here tonight? Yeah. I want y'all to do something for us before we go any further. On the count of three, just as loud. I want to see how loud this bunch can holler. Just as loud as you can holler. I want you to holler, praise the Lord. One, two, three. Praise the Lord. Oh, that feels good, don't it? You know, we're going to do that for eternity one day. We're going to lift up and glorify the name of our Lord and Savior one day. I'd like to thank that every person in this building tonight has a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You know him as your personal Savior. For those of you who don't, we pray that something may be said tonight, a word of testimony, a song will touch your heart and give you the desire to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. How many of you have seen Gold City for the very first time tonight? Lift your hand. Thirteen, okay. We're going to very quickly introduce these young men because we've got a lot of songs to sing and just a short time to sing them in. On the piano, a young man that's going on, he's working on his 11th year with Gold City and he's just getting better all the time. Not only on the keyboards, he produces, arranges. I want you to make old Taco welcome tonight, Mr. Gary Jones. Make him welcome if you will. Young man all the way from Blairsville, Georgia. Now, he's been involved with Gold City for about seven, eight, nine years. I don't know, I've done lost count. Now, there's a super job on string this one. Tonight, he's playing the steel guitar for us. And I want y'all to make him welcome our good friend, Mr. Darrell LaCroix. Make him welcome tonight. Back here on the lead guitar, fine Christian young man from Nashville, Tennessee. He, he helped us on our last video. And he was so gracious to come down and help us tonight. Does a super job, Mr. David Creech. Would you make him welcome tonight? <laughs> An old country boy back here from Bear Holler, Tennessee. Now, he's, he's glad to be here. In fact, he's glad to be anywhere. But uh, he does a super job playing the bass guitar. And I want y'all to make him feel welcome here tonight. Look at him back here, Mr. Mark Fane. Make him welcome. <laughs> These boys do a good job. Young man that plays the drums, keeps the timing for the group. Now, I've known him all his life, and uh, he's just getting better all the time. Been with us about three years. This is my oldest son, Doug Riley. Would you make him welcome? 
Of course, the young man singing the ladies' part over here on my far right. We call him Precious for those of you who've never met him. <laughs> He's from right here around Atlanta, Georgia, and I want y'all to make him welcome back over here, Mr. Brian Free. Make him welcome tonight. This old tall, good-looking drink of water from North Carolina, and he's tried his best. He's tried his best to convince us that when you die, you have to go through North Carolina to get to heaven. I don't believe that, y'all. I'll tell you one thing I do believe, he's going to stand there tonight and sing his way right into your heart. Make him feel real welcome tonight. Mr. Ivan Parker, make him welcome if you would. A young man from right here in Atlanta, Georgia, and a lot of you know his folks started Southern Gospel Music about the time Dirk came into existence, and he's just carrying on a family tradition. I'm just glad he decided to do it with Gold City, and I want you to make him welcome home tonight, Mr. Mike LaFever. Make him welcome. <laughs> My name's Tim Riley from Glencoe, Alabama, and that makes up all the Gold City. Make them all welcome if you would. <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget when we first when Brian first came with the group, <laughs> he, he was about the size of a toothpick. <laughs> and, uh, if that big. <laughs> if that big. Yeah. And I'll never forget when he was, when he was, well, I was uh, in the first grade. <laughs> he was about 17 years old. <laughs> and uh, if he was standing behind a mic stand, you couldn't see him. And you know, you have, you pass suits down from one member to another. And he was our second uh, tenor singer. And the more that, sang tenor first, Bob Oliver, he was a little broader than, uh, than broader. Brian. And uh, we had to uh, take the suit up so it would fit Brian, and the back pockets just came <laughs> together <laughs> on his suit. I couldn't keep my wallet on one and side. It, it kept sliding yeah. inside. If it was I had one big his, pocket all the way across. What for his coat, it would really look funny, but it looked bad. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you what, we, it was such a crowd out front tonight, I, I absolutely, I felt so sorry for some folks that couldn't get a seat, but there are just so many seats, and there was more people than there was seats. So uh, there were some folks that standing up back there, and they said, now, we've come to hear you all a bunch of times, and I never have seen you turn that, I mean, really turn that tenor singer loose. I said, we've been afraid to turn him loose, afraid of what he might do. <laughs> I know it's a video, but look, these people pay good money to get in here to hear you get turned loose. There's, a, there's an old song that we're going to turn him loose on called Looking for a City. I want you to stick him on, all right? Here among the shadow, in the lonely land, we're a band of pilgrims on the moon. Never die, 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 never die,
Oh, the angels are encamping about me, lest I dash my foot against a stone. Though the earth be removed, the mountains cast into the sea, I will not fear. This old world's a trembling. The end times we can't see. We don't know if tomorrow will even be. Oh, but we have built on a rock. This world cannot see. He said he'd shelter us beneath. the Bible, there are so many things that, that the Lord promises us that are, that are waiting on us when we get to heaven. There are so many events that have to take place, so many things that in the end of times, uh, if you study the book of Revelations, that are in a series that have to take place. And I know that as a, a born-again Christian, I'm looking forward to that time, which I get to put my white robe on and sit down at, at the marriage supper of the Lamb with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that I've waited to see for so many years. And uh, I can't wait till that day. And this song talks about that. It, it elaborates on the, the subject and, and puts it into words better than, than I've ever heard it put into words. And I enjoy singing the song. With the wine, with the bread, I recall the blood you shed and your body sacrifice for it.
bread and cup with me. But soon a time will come when all is said and done, and the fellowship eternally. You know, I tell folks everywhere that we go that serving Jesus Christ as your personal Savior is absolutely the greatest existence you could possibly have on the face of this earth. Amen? Do I have a bunch of born-again believers out there tonight? Now, I like amens. I like folks that get happy about things. And, uh, and it's just like hollering sick them to this bunch up here. You know, I was surprised in 1991 that Jesus didn't come back. Wasn't you? How many of you was looking for him in 91? How many of you are looking more for him in 92? I'm going to tell you what. I get up every day. I say, Lord, is this the day? I want to hear his voice when he calls. He says, my sheep will hear my voice. And folks, the king is coming whether you're ready or not. And you know, I believe that if we could just look over into heaven tonight, we'd see a bunch of excited saints of God waiting for the bride to get there and we could look over there and see our home but I know that if every one of us here tonight that loved Jesus if we had an opportunity to look over into heaven the first thing we'd look for was the throne amen, amen. listen to a beautiful song that'll touch your heart tonight I haven't sing his heart out of it beautiful song called windows of home
as we picture unfolding and I stood beholding the splendor of that heavenly scene and now I can see why Can't you just imagine that? You know, I think Christian people ought to have more fun than anybody on the face of the earth. We've got more to look forward to. We recorded a song on our last album that I think is one of the most fun songs to sing I believe we've ever recorded. Squire Parsons wrote it. And you know, growing up in church as I did, I, I saw that like on Easter, man, the church would be packed. Everybody would have on their Easter duds and new clothes and all that. Around Christmas, it'd be packed when it had a little election in the town I was raised in. All the politicians would be there and it'd be packed. But you know, after I got saved, I learned that serving Jesus Christ is a seven-day-a-week thing. When you love Jesus and you fall in love with Jesus, you want to get up every day with him. You want to go to bed with him every night with him on your heart. Listen to the song, it's just a whole lot of fun to sing. I'm gonna turn this, these three loose over here. It says, I wanna walk every day with my Lord.
I was sitting there one evening at my house, and uh, I was going through various songs that songwriters send, and uh, I saw this, and I thought it was thought it was a real neat title, Child of the Light. So I stuck the cassette in, and I started listening to it, and I was just sitting there in my den just listening to this song, and all of a sudden I just felt the spirit just start to move in my life. And I knew, without a doubt, it was like, it was like the spirit had spoken to me and said, you need to sing this song, and it'll bless a lot of people. And I sat there, and I listened to the words of this song, and it was kind of a rough demo, and uh, wasn't something that I guess you'd release as an album project. But I sat there and got to listen to the message, and all of a sudden I realized that tears were running down my face, and I was crying because the song was exactly, if I had to sit down with, a, with an ink pen and a piece of paper, and started writing out my testimony, this song would be the song that I would write for my testimony. Stumbling alone in the darkness, I was looking for a light to shine, searching for the source revelation to fill this darkened heart of mine. Oh, the greatest mystery this world's ever known came so clear to me when the light of God's word shined into my heart and now my blinded eyes can see and now I see my sin like my father does I'm out of the darkness like I was for he changed me when his light came in no longer in the night I'm a child of the light I've been born again I'm thankful tonight that I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb and I can truly say that I'm standing in the light of the Lamb so many are wandering in darkness for their children of the night they need a glorious transformation from the kingdom of darkness to light for a long time ago on resurrection day Jesus the light broke through to provide us a way from night to day a path of light for me and for you and now I see my sin like my surrendered your heart life to Jesus, 
you know, that the sting of death has been taken away. And when Amen. my mom passed away, and she was a old saint of God, she had uh, always set the example in front of me. And you know how all guys feel about their mom. They just think that they're all a saint. And uh, when my mom passed away and I was rubbing her forehead is before they came to take her, I was just thanking her because I could still feel her spirit near. I was just thanking her for the Christian mother she'd been to me and, uh, and feeling the comfort of knowing that her passing uh, was no big deal because she was perfect now and she was with my dad. And uh, one of these days, uh, very soon I feel we're all going to be together. And uh, yeah. folks, Amen. any way you look at it, if you're saved, death ain't no big deal. Someday when I breathe my final breath And the doctor takes one look and says I'm dead The truth is gonna find me be repeat I'm gonna find that death ain't no big deal He'll reach down and gently close my eyes I'll be watching from the other side I'll be laughing about how scared I thought I'd be I'm gonna find that dead thing no big deal My soul is gonna be just like a bird set free I'll sail right past the moon Up to the star And I know I'll be amazed When I get to the heaven's gate Cause I knew my way home By the The light will shine much brighter Than the sun I'll be right back where
His voice penetrated those dead ears that day. And Lazarus stepped out, bound hand and foot that day. He said, Lucy. They had me believing that this was the end. Oh, but then I remembered the story I had heard about a man called Jesus and the power in his words. So I called on Jesus in a moment he came. My captor stood powerless to resist what he had to say. He said, this is You know, I was, I was, uh, one part I really enjoyed about this video was there's a song that we've tried so many times to get on a video, and it <laughs> seems like every time uh, that we've tried to get it on a video, something's happened. Either a technical problem or we'd, uh, it's like one of those songs you've done for so long, you still, it's almost like the ones we've done for so many years, we're more apt to forget the words on those than we are the new ones sometimes. Uh, and one time, one time we did, I believe, forget the words, yes, the reason why we could, yeah. on Shouting Ground, and as we many did. times as we've done it, we recorded the song back in 84, 85, and... I think what it was, was God, God knew it was a good song, and we never sang it to its full potential. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's what it was. And he so. wanted, he, that, he was waiting for that particular night for us to... <laughs> Do it right, I guess. Slopped over it all. I wonder tonight how many of you are glad to be saved and washed in the blood of the Lamb. Praise the Lord. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're saved tonight, then you've got a reason to get excited about Jesus. Amen? We as Christian people, we're the luckiest people Amen. on the face of the earth. And I'm glad tonight to know about Jesus. And I'm glad that I'm not ashamed that if I feel like shouting, I'm going to shout. If I feel like waving my hands and praising the Lord, then that's exactly what I'm going to do. Y'all put your hands together with us. Come on. Well, I walk through rocky places and of a bitter cup I've tasted but right now.
I think all in all, we've had a, this has been a wonderful video, oh, and I, I just appreciate so much yeah. uh, Mount Perrin allowing this kind of thing to go on. You know, we have these big, beautiful church buildings that sit empty, yeah. and they're utilizing what God has blessed them with to even extend the ministry even further and further out. Because video, so many we, have, we get so many reports of people being saved through video right. by them sitting in their home where they're not having to to. Uh, put on a front for anybody and the Holy Spirit can just minister to them there in the privacy of their home and that's why that that I love the video ministry and I love uh, this is a way that we can reach out if so far from where we can just get on our weekly travels right. and uh, we just like to thank everybody that came and took part of this video and made it the success that it was all the staff at Mount Perrin and the and uh, the, the video ministry there. We just want to thank you and tell all of you that's watching this video, God bless you, and I hope that the anointing falls on you Amen. when you watch this video. Amen. God bless you. We look back at, uh, uh, at all the things that's happened over, over our ministry and how God's blessed us and how we went through some changes about 19 the latter of 1985 and early 1986 and, and uh, how the commitments we made and God has honored his end of and how he's blessed our ministry uh, and the songs that he sent us so that uh, have ministered so wonderfully and a lot of folks will ask us how are you ministered to I me mean, how do y'all get fed you know we don't get to be in church a lot of times in our church where we just sit as a as a member and and, and be ministered to but uh, seeing folks come to a realization of Jesus Christ and spreading their heart life to them. Uh, That's all about Yeah, Ivan is really uh, moving into this, the, the ministry thing, and, uh, and God's blessing it, isn't he? Yes, he is. Uh, I don't know, it's really, it's kind of one of those things where that the more you study and the, the more you pray, the deeper you get. Uh, you start realizing the promises and the things that God said he would do, he begins to do them just simply by obeying yes. and, and reading what he says in the Word. And, and it is in his time, though. He sure does. Uh, it's, it's never on our time clock. It never has been and it never will be. So I think it's kind of interesting how that, how that God just puts everything in a certain order and it just sort of all just snowballs mm -hmm. and it starts it starts happening like things you prayed about and things that you wanted to happen three or four years ago now they start happening three or four years later and uh, I just think it's really 
phenomenal how God works in the Christian's life. Right. And uh, it's, it's exciting to me. Well, it's just, like people, they'll ask us what songs touch our hearts, and they'll, they'll ask us to pick a favorite song out of something we do. But it's hard to do that because we, everything that we try to choose when we sit down and, and listen to songs for a new project, we try to listen to everything that we pick out to be a song that will minister to us because if it ministers to us, it's going to minister to you. Yeah. Uh, if it touches our heart, if it hits home with maybe something that we're going through at that time or something we have been through, then we, most, chances are it's going to go, it's going to touch you the same way because we're all, we're all exactly alike. We're all humans. We're all, as Christians, uh, we're no different than, than you are. We suffer the same problems. We go through the same hard times. We go through the same ups and downs. Uh, as, as any other Christian does. Uh, and we, we, I think, I, me personally, I get ministered to greatly by our songs. Uh, well, I'm the happiest that I am in this whole world when I'm on stage singing to you people because it's, this is what God has, uh, has placed on my heart uh, as my ministry for me to do. And I, when I'm on, my, on, on stage pouring my heart out in a song to you and I can see that that you're hearing the words, not necessarily the way that we're singing it, but uh, the words that are coming across out of the song, the feeling of the Holy Ghost when it's all around you, when, when you can see that and sense that, uh, to me that's that's what it's all about. But we, uh, I don't know, we're all the same way yeah, when, it comes to, yeah. when it comes to to singing and getting it across. It means so much when you're... Yeah, we was at a concert just the other night in a, in a huge gym, and we yeah. just sang the half of it, and all these young people, they were on their knees out on that gym floor. That's right. Uh, it just about overwhelmed. Had what seven people saved? Yeah, seven people in the saved. Of the gym and, floor. and you know how you feel. Yeah. yeah, they're all young. You know, you know you love the Lord and and and, and you, you try to serve him and, and, and do his will in, in your life, but to see other people's affected by him through you. It's very touching right. to us, and it ministers to us, and it humbles and us. It makes you feel so. That does make me feel so unworthy. Because oh, yeah. I'm saying, Lord, how, you know, I'm just, I'm just a, a lowly Christian. How can you use me like this? How yeah. can, how can you bless me by letting your Spirit go through me like this and get this feeling? Because I mean, when I walk off stage and, and the Holy Ghost has been that present, which you know, every night you feel. Uh, I every feel, night's I, different. Right, but every night it's, it's there to a certain degree. But of course, more nights than others, because depending on. Uh, whether uh, the crowd is, is into it, whether they're there to, to worship with you, whether they're there to... Because sometimes you do run across crowds that are... Uh, they're either looking at you like they're not quite sure how to take you or they're not quite sure whether yeah. they want to get into it or not. And then you have those, bless me if you, if can, you can, folks, yeah. you know. Yeah. But you know, are you one of those? <laughs> they're, my, they're my favorites. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, we all find the humor and we find... The, the the serious part of what we do. We take what we do very seriously. And you folks that are watching this video, you'll never know how much you mean to us. Those of you who have really supported Gold City and our ministry, those of you who have stuck with us through the thick and the thin, you've come back when a concert, maybe you thought it was a little too loud. You know, we most of the places we sing at aren't designed for sound. And uh, it's hard to get it just perfect. And we, we appreciate you people that have supported and stuck with our ministry and, and the ministry of gospel music. We know that we prepare the way for the word. We're not what you would call preachers, but we're ministers of music. And it goes all the way back to the Old Testament when the, the singers and the musicians would get out in front of the armies and they'd sing and play. And sometimes they wouldn't even have to fight the battle. But we appreciate your support and uh, how you back us and been our friend, been our Christian friend. We love all of you, and we just want to say God bless you for the part you've played in Gold City's ministry over the past almost 12 years.